Guys, I've got cut off fucking thing. This is typical, isn't it? It's like I wanted to go for a bike ride this morning and I felt like, yes, I need, you know, it's seven o'clock and I like to get up on my bike and, you know, and of course the tyre is flat and lots of obstructionism going on where it, it just, somehow it just, it does not want us emerging it doesn't want us healing it doesn't want us to stand in our light it it wants us to stay a slave to it it we have been its slave yes we have people you know all these people is oh I'm awake I'm awake yes I'm awake but no you're not awake because you still think that you're gonna fight evil on the external and that by fighting evil um, on the external plane or by following the law of attraction and being happy 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 which is completely insane because what kind of self delusion is that um, that somehow that's that's how to do it that's how it works oh, it's all fucking bullshit people the be all and end all of, of this fucking game always was consciousness, consciousness, consciousness and to, to liberate consciousness from the grip of this fucking evil which has us existing in this mundane reality where we must be born, where we must be sick where we must grow old, where we must die, where we must work for a living, where we must watch television, where we must get passports and, and, and go through all the strenuous fucking bullshit to get from one place to another place, where, where we have to suffer. And yet be, be told every day that, oh no, this is not suffering, this is life and this is how it's meant to be and it's wonderful. when in fact there shouldn't be any kind of disease at all we shouldn't grow old and we should live for as long as we choose and then if and when we want to do something else we can simply leave this plane and go and do something else and come back here if we so choose old age is, a, is an abomination disease is an abomination people all right Work is an abomination. Money is an abomination. Tarmac roads, cars, fucking housing, boxy, horrible houses are an abomination. Is everything in this world, everything apart from that which comes from love is an abomination. This world is a fucking abomination. It has been hijacked, it has been twisted, it has been invaded. But that hostile force is being expunged from within our consciousness. So it, it, it manifests even more so. We really become aware of it in our emotional being, in our mental being. And then it starts to manifest again, more so, temporarily. So it's like... You sustain, say, a wound, like this was a burn, and it just didn't heal properly. Now there's a massive scar which is not going away. See, that's obstructionism. That's a type of obstructionism. That is what evil does. But it's doing it more so now, more insidiously, because somehow I feel it knows damn well that its days are numbered, and it's kicking it, and it's not, no, I'm not doing not, no, no, I'm not, I'm not, I'm not, I'm not, I'm not letting go. But its fingers will be prized off our consciousness, regardless, you see. It's, it's this whole thing, it's like, well, you can't say this to people, you can't say that to people. It's all when people are, are abusing you in one way or another, you know. Taking a piss, you, you, you're taking or, you know, doing, doing whatever it is that, that gets on your nerves that isn't right for you, that doesn't work for you, that you don't want. But that voice in your head saying, well, you can't really say anything because there'll be hell to pay if you do. It's better to put up with it, just put up with it. See, that's passive aggression, people. 
The fear, though, the fear. <gasps> Ooh, but don't say anything. And yeah, so I understand that, but you know, that's just one tiny, tiny element of it. Or well, the constant fear, the dread, you know, that we've been feeling. A lot of us have been having this really heavy sense of dread, like something bad's going to happen. For me, it's like, whoa, health issues uh, recurring. Yeah, that's how it is. There's no cure, no. That's just how it's going to be. There is nothing you can do. The sense that life won't be worth living in any way or shape or form. That we're utterly fucked and utterly doomed. Pay attention to your minds, people. Here. Pay attention. Become the ultimate observers of yourself. And take responsibility for what you do with it. Right? This is very difficult as well. So don't be hard on yourselves, right? But... This is, it makes people very, very selfish. Me, 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 me. You know, I want this. I want that. It's all about me. It's, it is why we live in a narcissistic world. It bludgeons the fuck out of people to such an extent that they're half dead, they're not functioning, they don't feel empathy or compassion because they've just been fucking pulverized by it. When people are, are live in a in in a constant flight or fight response, nervous state response. It's all of people, seriously, animals as well. All of nature is dreadful. It's, it always amazes me that uh, the majority of people seem to think that this world is just wonderful, that this is always oh, wonderful when I can see it now so, so clearly. And it frustrates the fuck out of me that I am one of only very few people that really gets it and really sees it. Because most people, even awakened people, just don't really get it. And I often wonder about people's will. How awake do you really choose to be, you know? Maybe you don't really want to be awake. Maybe it's not their, their destiny to be that awake. I don't know. But... The more awake you are, the more of an alien do you feel. The more do you realise what an abomination this really is. Mm -hmm. There are all animals and all of nature and, and a few souled people that are here I love and care about. But everything else is just, it's off the dark side. But I know now that the curse of evil is not dissolved and healed on the external plane. We cannot fix it there. It has to be confronted within us because that's always been its inception point. It is within us, but it is not of us, interestingly enough. We cannot kill it, eradicate it, expunge it ourselves exactly. Something, a process is happening within us that is doing that and we play our part we do our bit it is interactive so every day I choose to send in my light even though I have a shitload of negativity sour inflammatory self hatey passive aggressive horrendous sense of dread and doom and defeatism, nasty shit going on. It's triggered by these external events like my bike's tyre being flat. No reason for that whatsoever. I haven't even ridden it much. You know, it's a new bike. Well, not new, but, you know, second-hand new. Um, in fact, uh, you know, yes, you... 
your body just all of a sudden your body stops healing itself you know your these things that these wounds that should heal but heal very 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 slowly and then scar very badly which never used to be the case lots of other shit going on and it is a fucking onslaught there's no doubt about it and it's pure evil it's laying into us this way with all this hatred because it knows that its days are numbered the light is pushing forth now enough anyway I suppose that's all I really wanted to say today. It, it, it's like I, I've been watching people, noticing people a lot lately. Myself, yes, all the, always, always. But also other people. And it's all so, there's still so much fake persona bullshit going on people and that's why at the moment, yes, I'm, I'm seriously not interested really in hanging out with people. I, I just want to be with me. Because people are fucking hard work. They are such hard work. Everybody wants something. Give me this, give me that. Want, 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 want. Whereas me, I'm a giver and... You know... And I'm tired. I'm tired of people wanting to feed and people wanting this and wanting that. They want my energy, they want my attention. They want this, they want this, they want this, they want this. And they're not even aware of it. Because if there's one thing I've learned is that other people cannot heal me. I can heal me, as in I am here with this process and I take full responsibility and when I really, really feel like shit, I don't turn outward to other people, I turn inward toward myself. Because my self-love here is required for me to say that, yes, even though I find myself in this terrible, terrible state, internal, external, all of it, like, whoa, I still choose to love myself and to stand by myself in this terrible time I choose love I choose to love myself and I do that not even really quite knowing how to at all but I do it anyway it's my intention and so it becomes real it's actualized and that is what I do So, yeah. It's, 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 a, it's a hard one, you know, where... You just realise that most people in this world are really not up to... ...giving you much of anything. Um, they can't because they have so much shit going on within their own psyche but it's interesting because you know I've, I've always been able to be there for other people to really listen and empathize and give them actually quite good advice that's helped them as well despite feeling really awful myself and I love myself for that I think the only way out is through, the only way out is in, the only way people is to face it all, own it all, to see owning it meaning to want to see it all, to want to know it all, to want to know what exactly what's going on in there, in you. And to work that out and to watch that because it's not out there no no people everything is taking place in you in here in your consciousness that's where it's all at this is the time to really 
want to find out what it really is all about and to really look at your own behavior. How do you treat yourself? How do you allow yourself to be treated? How do you treat other people? How do you really feel about yourself? Genuinely, really. Forget about all the... Because it loves for us to be in a state of denial. Oh, I really feel this about myself and I feel that about myself and I think this and I go here and I do that. But when you really introspect, you'll start... Oh, that's a lie, 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 that's a lie. That isn't true and that isn't true and no and no and no and no. And you realise that you've just been living in a fucking illusion. You've just been deluding yourself and that you're not that way at all. <laughs> it's time to get real about yourself and do it with love. Do it knowing that, no, it doesn't mean you're a bad person or that you're an evil person. It means that you're traumatized. And you, you, you and it, it's time, people, it's time, you know, to really do the work, to introspect, introspect, and be brutally honest about it all. It is the only way. There is no other way. Be aware of this tendency to pretend and to to ignore and no 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 that is the biggest mechanism it likes to hide in the corners you thinking that it's like this when in fact it's like that all the time subterfuge manipulation it's a very slippery customer it's almost like pinning down air <laughs> It's happening now and it's meaningful. This onslaught is happening for a reason. The shift, the rise of the, the real consciousness, the pure, raw, power, love consciousness. You see, that's really what's happening here, people. And it does seem to get darkest before dawn. Bit of a platitude, but you know. I guess that's it. Pfft, nothing else to say. <laughs> now is the time, people. It really is.